Hi everyone and welcome to the Molecular Dynamics Simulations Tutorials for Beginners. Today we will learn together how to calculate the pairwise RMSD for a trajectory file using MD Analysis, which is a widely used Python package for the analysis of molecular dynamics simulations data. So before we go to the pairwise RMSD, let's remind you with the concept of RMSD analysis, which we already covered in a previous video. I can't you to check it in the channel. RMSD means, or the full name, is the root mean square deviation of atomic of the atomic position. So, imagine you have a crystal structure and you simulate it. At the end of the simulation, you want to check how much I displaced or how much the backbone atoms are displaced from the initial structure to see the stability of your system of, or, or your protein. But uh, note that this RMSD is not only for protein, it can be for any molecule, like small uh, molecule or whatever. So the, the concept is the same. You, you check or you calculate the displacement of the atomic positions compared to a reference, which could be a crystal's initial structure or the average structure of your simulation. As you see here in a protein, this uh, image from Wikipedia, Say let's have this uh, red is the average or the initial structure and the yellow is the structure after a simulation and then you see when you superimpose them you see that they are slightly displaced so our MSD can give us the displacement compared to the initial structure. So an example for the normal RMSD which is not the pairwise RMSD this is a, a, an RMSD analysis from our recent publications from our lab publication from our lab. It's an RMSD of a protein and different organic solvent. So here it's you compare the protein to an initial structure. So over a hundred nanosecond simulation time. So this is not pairwise RMSD. So this is the only RMSD. So here you see in this uh, toluene it was totally stable in cyclo exam. There is no big displacement in the structure. It's a stable. But you see in methanol protein is almost denatured or very or the system is really unstable so this is the one dimension RMSD but not yet what we already aiming for this video the pairwise RMSD is giving you a comparison between each frame or each conformation in your simulation so remember that let me get back to the previous slide sorry remember that here the RMSD compared to an initial structure. So I compare every frame in, in my simulation compared to an initial structure. But in here, you can have a heat map. You can compare, for example, the 60th frame to the 80th frame or whatever, frame number 20 to the frame number 800. So you can compare every single conformation in your trajectory. And this is very good to give you an idea about the structure changes in your structure or the convergence in your of your system. So you get the point. Again, I'm here calculating based on single. My reference is a single structure, the initial one, time zero. So I compared, I calculated. So I have it over time. But here I can compare all of them. Okay. And then you can create a heat map like this and you're going to have your uh, scalar color color scalar and you can get your idea based on your research question let me get some coffee okay cool so in the analysis actually it's a very nice package and it's widely used you can download it from here and install it in windows or in, or in ubuntu or whatever it has different uh, versions but before i go to to show you an example of the calculation, I would go a little bit over Python for the people who has no idea what is Python and what is uh, MD analysis because we're going to work on Jupyter Notebook. So before I go to implement the script to calculate the pairwise RMSD, I want to give you an idea about Python. Python is an is the it's general purpose high level programming language, which is very good to optimize the tasks you want to do. So if you remember, we were using VMD, but in Python, can, you can just write a script and ask it to do everything. And also VMD is, is compatible with Python, by the way. So Anaconda is open source Python distribution with many libraries for scientific computing. So you download Anaconda, it contains many libraries for Python. 
and we have NumPy because we're going to use it if you're going to use MD analysis. It's a Python library for large and multi-dimensional arrays and matrices. And we have Jupyter Notebook, the place where you're going to write your script and implement it, which is a browser-based interactive computing environment for Python. I'm going quickly because this course is not dedicated for Python. Maybe in the future we can go for Python in details. But just to give you an idea of what I, what I, I will do later. And uh, matplotlib is a function or a tool of Python so by which you can plot or visualize your data that you calculated. To get this, this nice heat map, you need to visualize it. So matplotlib will do it for you. So again, I feel like it's, it's quite a bit, I mean, tricky, not very clear. Again, in one dimensional RMSD, let's call this one dimension because you compare it to one structure. You compare all the structure to one and you get something like this change in the conformation over time compared to a single structure. But pairwise RMSD, it's an effective way to quickly compare all the frames or the conformation in your structure. And for this purpose, we're going to use Python. And for Python, which is a high level programming language, you have Anaconda, which contain everything you want. And then you can install NumPy, you can install Jupyter and the visualization tool. And also there is Pandas, we are not going to use it, but I included it in the, in the simulation, sorry, in the presentation. It's uh, also a library that deals with the uh, numerical tables and time series. So let's do it. When we do it, you will understand why I'm mentioning uh, this Python tool. So. I will open the Jupyter Notebook using Anaconda. So I will ask Conda to activate my environment. And then I will ask Conda to open Jupyter Notebook. Yep. Jupyter Notebook is, as I said, it's a browser based uh, environment to compute and to script in Python. So now I am in this directory when I open Jupyter Notebook here. So I will see all the file in my Jupyter Notebook. I have some PSF topology files and some trajectories that we're going to use it, the example I'm using here. And I have already my script I was uh, changing before. I already prepared for this tutorial. Okay, now this one is empty. But by the way, Python is Sorry, Jupyter is just the place when you, you, you code. So, for example, you can say print rmsd. So, you write whatever command you want in Python and you just hit run. So, it will print rmsd. So, it's going to be like this. You can change the script title from here. You can do a lot of stuff. You can share your code as Jupyter format or a PDF format or Python format or whatever. HTML. So I advise you to go and check more about uh, Jupyter. Okay, so I'm not saving it. Oh, I forgot where I put my my Python script. Yeah, it is here. So in the first cell, I'm asking. Jupyter to import MD analysis. So after you install it, you import it from the library you have in your operating system. And also I'm asking uh, Jupyter to import some tools I will use for the RMSD calculation like a line. And of course, we're gonna, because we, we're going to generate a heat map or a figure, I'm asking Jupyter to import the visualization tool. And also because we're going to deal with a matrix, uh, I'm asking it to import NumPy as well. So we are ready here. So I'm saying run. So there is no problem. If there is a problem, you will you will uh, get an error here. Okay. So let's continue. Here is the syntax of MD analysis. To load the topology and DCD, just you write this command mda.universe. You are creating your universe. Then you write the name of your topology file. Here I have a urea simulation dot PSF and I have my trajectory dot DCD. But because I'm working with 
namely my trajectory extension is DCD and my topology extension is PSF. But if you are using Gromax, for example, you can write the extension of Gromax as far as I remember, XTC files, and also the topology the GRO files. So very simple syntax. Then I will load it. Okay. So Python is loading it. Sorry, Jupyter. There is no problem. And then I will align uh, my structure and I'm calculating the RMS def, uh, sorry, RMSD for the C alpha atom, the backbone atoms. Okay. This is also, I didn't write this is from the documentation of the package to create a RMSD mattress for, uh, for the pairwise frames. And I will say run. Okay. So I have a very short trajectory of 75 frames, just for the sake of the tutorial. So we are done. We just need to visualize what we did. So I wrote a short script here to plot a heat map. Okay. And I will run it. So you see, this is the pairwise RMSD. I have 75 frames. Okay. So it, it needs a little bit adjustment because, I mean, you can adjust anything here. You can, as I said, you can have a color plot here. Sorry, a, co a scalar column here. I just commented it out. So let's see what will happen. You see? So this is the scale of my RMSD. So if you remove this Sorry, this is the, the min and max of your scalar. So if I made it like three, it will show you that it moves a lot and there is a huge RMSD, but this is fake because the maximum RMSD is higher than five, which is almost six. So if you want to make Jupyter to, or MD analysis to get it in the correct, the min, the min max, I mean, you need to remove this and you just run it again. So, it will adjust the scalar according to your maximum RMSD. But if you if you want to compare different system and you want to keep the scale at the same, so you can say I want it to seven and the minimum is zero, and we can change this. This is the XY labels. I call it here frame. You can, you can also have a title for your system. You can say, you're yeah, in capital and it is bold you can change the font size i mean this is i will not waste time in the video with this this is stuff general for python you can go and read a little bit on how to adjust the the figure and like this you may ask that the resolution is not very high it's kind of blurred this is because it's very short trajectory so it doesn't look very nice because there is no much change then we are done. We just need to export this as uh, an image or a figure. So I will just use the 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 command figure that save fig, and I name it. Let's name it Yuria. And I will tell you why I need this. But let me remove it. And then here you. You adjust your resolution. Here it's quite enough. And I will say run. I have an error because because of what? Yeah, because yeah, I need to have to name my my figure as fig one. Then I save it like this. So I'll say run. Fig1 is an error again. Fig1 is not defined. Yeah, I had to run this again because I just edited here, changed it here, but without running. So you need to run it to tell Python to take this as a Fig1. Then I will say save. Let's check what happened. We have it here. So it worked. So you can compare the change in, in the frames. As I said, the, the resolution is not high because it's very short trajectory, but I have a longer trajectory. Let's repeat it again also to confirm what we did. 
let me check what I have here I have a trajectory for water simulation which is quite 10 times longer so what we will do remember again yeah water to DCD and I have the topology of my simulation and I will run everything again but before we run this, let's make this as water. And let's run it. You see, it's still waiting because it's a longer trajectory, so it's loading and working here. So the longer we have, the, the, the longer time it will take. So we have to wait a little bit. Yeah. Okay. So you see the, here the resolution is, is quite better. So I will call it water and I will save it and let's compare the two photos. Two images, sorry. Yeah, you see? That's nice. Let's open this urea and water. So you see, here is the resolution of the analysis. It's better because you have more frames, you have more conformation, but here it's just very limited number of frames. Here I have 750, here I have 70, so 10 times bigger. So now we get the concept. Uh, you may generate many figures like this and you want, you need to combine them in one figure panel. You know, I see that this white space is not needed, so you can ask Python to make it tight. Okay, so you can ask Python with this function. You say BB box, BB box, as far as I remember, I hope it will work. Tight. And let's see if it will work or not. Yep. So let's compare both of them. This is water. Let me open the water tight. Yeah, it didn't change. I think I messed up something with the it was B box tight and I think it's like this. Now it should work. Anyway. No, I will do it. Let me remember. I will Google it. I think we did something wrong. Yeah, I forgot to write inches, you know, <laughs> so it should be like this, not just P box. So I will run it again. Let's see. Yep, is what I mean. You don't need this very large white frames, sorry, white space. So here it's better. If we compare both of them. You see, so no need to have this this white space because it will decrease the resolution of your figure when you have many figures combined together. Okay, so that's for today, and feel free to ask whatever you want. I think it's quite simple, you know, just a couple of lines, and you get a nice representation of your trajectory. That's it, and see you in the next video.